Welcome to the Tech Blog Writer Podcast, your guide to future tech trends and innovation in a language you understand. Now, over to your host, Neil Hughes. Welcome back to the Tech Blog Writer Podcast. How are you going? Your slightly jet-lagged podcast host is powering through here in San Francisco. But thankfully, I had one of those flights where I had nobody sat next to me. And most importantly of all, the guy in front was not a recliner. If you are a recliner out there on airplanes, why do you do it? Think about the poor guy behind. (laughs) In fact, if you are a recliner, I want to hear from you. Tweet me at Neil C. Hughes now and say, yes, Neil, I'm one of the guilty recliners. But hey, we digress. The reason I'm in San Francisco is because I'm attending the Aptus Accelerate event. Despite having back-to-back interviews till 9pm at night, I convinced Raj Verma. He's the Chief Operating Officer at Aptus. And he's an accomplished executive in his own right with experience growing companies at scale. But Raj is chartered with growing Aptus's business while also ensuring operational excellence across the company. And he's also responsible for Aptus's go-to market strategy, sales, marketing and customer success operations. But I wanted to chat to him about the big themes at the conference this year. What are the big takeaways? What role is AI playing in the future for Aptus, especially after leading the way with their assistant called Max last year? And what learning curves did they pick up along the way? And of course, there is that huge IBM announcement and their middle office solution, Omni. We have so much to get through today, so let me beam your ears all the way to San Francisco so we can speak with Raj Verma, the Chief Operating Officer at Aptus, live from the show floor at the Aptus Accelerator event. So a massive warm welcome to the show. Can you tell the listeners a little about who you are and what you do? Yeah, sure. Uh, Raj Verma, I'm Chief Operating Officer at Aptus Corporation. Office out of San Mateo in California. I live about 25 miles south of Los Altos Hills. And um, computer science engineer, math major by education. Wasn't smart enough to work as an engineer, so uh, <laughs> took out in, uh, the sales and the marketing side, rose up through the ranks. Uh, worked with companies like Wipro, Parametric Technology, an English company called Stoff uh, out of Maidenhead. Oh, cool. Which then got uh, acquired by Tipco. Yeah. And then I had a very long stint at Tipco, um, almost 16 years. And I was uh, CEO over there when I left uh, about 18 months ago. Had a very brief stint as president and CEO at Hortonworks. And now I'm here as uh, CEO at Aptus, so very excited to be here. And, and thanks for your time, Neil. No problem. Yeah. So Aptus is known as the world's leader in quote to cash, and you solve a lot of problems for a lot of businesses. But there will be some people listening to our conversation all over the world today that are going to be hearing about Aptus and maybe even the, the concept of quote to cash for the very first time. So can you set the scene and help them visualize what problems it is that you do solve for your customers at Aptus and also what makes you guys unique from other solutions out there? At the fundamental level, uh, we help companies become more agile, provide its consumers with a better user experience per se. And let me double click on that. We we essentially do business with six, seven, eight industries. So healthcare, manufacturing, software, high tech, um, freight and forwarding, airlines, etc, etc, etc. So one part of our business is contract life cycle management. How do you manage the obligations that you contractually have entered into with your suppliers, with your vendors, with your customers, etc. And how do you then take those contractual obligations, which could be, in, in this particular case, a certain discount level that you have agreed to offer your customers. How do you then ensure that when your sales channel or sales rep is interacting with that customer and giving them a quote for your product or services, that discount rate is what gets entered into the quote, yeah. right? And the the pricing is in congruence with your contractual obligations. So fundamentally, that is what QTC is. Yeah, right? quite a long, cumbersome process, I would imagine. Uh, uh, it, without which, it's without, very yeah. manual. It is very prone 
to mistakes and human errors, yeah. right? The, the initial, of course, advantage that you get is you get speed, you get visibility, you get control, right? Mm -hmm. But that's only the start. That then leads to a seamless user experience because if you have the contractual obligations, if you know that these products have to be configured a certain way for a customer, yeah. pricing is right there, you can quote them, that leads to e-commerce or even self-service, yeah. which then makes your organization ready for the digital economy. So that is the value proposition that Aptus offers. So one of the big stories here this week at Aptus Accelerate is the intelligent middle office platform called Omni, which will be also be coming to IBM Cloud to help customers generate greater revenue, maximize business outcomes, and so much more. But can you tell me more about how Aptus's quote to cash contract management applications are all ready to be enhanced by IBM technologies? Yeah, sure. Uh, so we we actually um, our relationship with IBM is three pronged. So they are a customer, a very large customer, and growing. Mm -hmm. They are a partner, and they are an investor. And we thank them for each of those three relationships. As a partner, they are of course using our software, right? In in as a consumer. But we are also using the Watson technology for our AI and machine learning for Max. Right? Yeah. So that's a very, very tightly integrated collaboration that we have with IBM. And as our, our um, partnership or relationship matured, we felt that the IBM cloud and their focus on on artificial intelligence, on the smarter planet as they call it, with all the security and the governance features that IBM Cloud offers, with the penetration that IBM Cloud has in the market and is likely to have in the market, that's going to be a platform that most of our customers would like to use Aptus on. Yeah. So that was the fundamental uh, reasoning or impetus for us to put our application on the IBM cloud. In addition to that, you know, I, I see IBM as a clear, clear leader in um, in artificial intelligence, and you heard today the kind of investments they're already making. So we are very interested in deepening that partnership uh, around AI, uh, around Aptus with IBM and offering some very innovative features to our customers down the road. So like I said a few moments ago, we are currently at the Aptus Accelerate here in San Francisco, which is increasingly being termed as the middle office event of the year. And the event has a fantastic vibe about it on the show floor too. And it's also in a beautiful location. But what does Aptus Accelerate mean to you? And what excites you most about the event in the, the run up over the last few weeks? Yeah, no, it's, um, it truly is exciting. And, uh, and thank you for your kind words. Uh, very very appreciate yes there's a lot of energy um, around uh, around this event there's been a lot of uh, you know blood sweat and tears so as to speak <laughs> that have gone into putting this event together and yes um, the location in my opinion at least doesn't get any better or more beautiful or compelling than uh, uh, than this uh, I am personally excited about meeting our customers and partners uh, you know just talking to them I was at dinner yesterday with a very large um, customer and then we had um, a suite at the Giants uh, Stadium that I stopped by. We had about 20 of our customers there. Mm -hmm. And they're coming up to, to me and saying how we have truly transformed their business. And the fact that that's just the beginning of, of their relationship with us is truly rewarding. I mean, what we do is hard. Um, but, um, you know, comments like this from our customers just, uh, you know, kind of make your day. And th yeah. that's something that you really look forward to. Uh, the other aspect that I really look forward to is um, is some of the announcements that we've made today, like the Omni, the middle office platform. The fact that now we are a platform rather than a application. And the difference really being that now as a platform, you, can, uh, you as a customer can bridge the gaping hole that existed between the front office and the back office which was sort of covered with a hodgepodge of applications which were more expensive, which were slowing down your business and which were actually preventing you from taking the leap into the digital economy. Mm -hmm. um, and, and that's what Omni is. I, I, I guess the, uh, a big part of the energy that you're seeing on the floor is generated 
by the Omni uh, News and um, yeah we're very excited about giving that wings so as to speak so yeah. It's the big takeaway message that we're not an application, we are a platform. And the, the kind of technologies that you're bringing in there with artificial intelligence and yeah. helping businesses through the digital transformation, is that what you want people to go home with? That Yeah, I think Omni encapsulates um, the three big messages that Aptis is all about. The first is it's a hybrid cloud platform. Yeah. Now, what that means is it's not only available on Force.com, it's also available on Azure and will be very shortly on the IBM cloud. So we are cloud agnostic. So that really opens up, you know, probably, you know, 90% plus of the companies which have committed to a cloud platform, right? Yeah. So, so that's very exciting. The second thing is that we are no longer a, a as I said, a application provider. We are a true platform which has its own developer kit and all the rest of it. So you can expand it, API provision, so you can integrate mm. to the back and front end and any other which application. And the third is our continued investment into our applied intelligence platform, Max. You saw the demo, I, think, yeah. I know what you thought. Oh, it's, it's mind blowing, isn't I, it? I, it really that, is. that was just tremendous. And not only the, the manner in which it was done, which I thought was great, but just the substance of it was just pure genius in my opinion. And uh, and that's that's what we what we would continue to invest in. So AI, the fact that we are a platform, and the fact that we are a hybrid, we are available on multiple clouds, are the three key takeaways for you know for mm. for our customers, our partners, and um, and 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 I think the theme is that Aptus is growing up. You know, from uh, we we have uh, we have big ambitions for our customers, for our partners, for our employees and uh, we do want to be one of the most admired software assets in the world mm. and uh, we truly believe we have a very good shot at it. I'm glad you said that, you kind of answered my next question really because I was going to say someone that tries to cover how technology is transforming not just a few but multiple industries, in fact probably all of them in every profession. It struck me here straight away that Aptus get that message too and so far I think I've counted 50 sessions spread across 8 different tracks all with excellent learning opportunities across all industries such as finance, IT, legal and so many more. Is that something that you were purposely passionate about showcasing as well? Oh absolutely, I think our spread of both um, industries uh, and, and within industries um, also geography. So we, we are just seeing tremendous growth in the international market. <laughs> our, um, our EMEA business um, is, is doubling on a quarterly basis. So we, we are seeing 100% growth there. Yes. Uh, we are making some significant investments there as well. Our healthcare and life science business is has never been better. It's just tremendous growth there. Some very marquee names uh, in there. Uh, we continue to do very well in manufacturing. Uh, we now have a separate track for financial services. We are making headways into public sector. We are making strong inroads into media and telecommunication as well. Uh, we also find the freight forwarding, logistics, travel, uh, 4PL. Uh, those, those are also industries which, are, which we never initially thought we would target, but are becoming very, very key to our business. Uh, so yeah, no, it's, it's, a, it's a deliberate attempt to show the breadth of our offerings across industries and across geographies, absolutely. Now, like you said at the beginning of the at the beginning of the interview, throughout your career, you've helped companies scale their operations, and most notably, you spent I think twelve years at Tipco Software as part of the executive team, instrumental in its rapid growth to over one billion in revenue. So, I've got to ask, what, what is it that got you excited about Aptus and made you wanted to join last year? Did yeah. uh, Kurt give you any of his crazy stories? <laughs> or, uh... <laughs> Lots of crazy stories. Yeah. Yeah, they never stop. Uh, yeah, and that is the main reason I did join, <laughs> I must confess. Um, yeah, but on a serious note, uh, from, from my perspective, and I was just uh, telling someone just, just 15 minutes ago, what I was looking for as the next step in my, where I wanted to spend the next foreseeable future uh, of, of my or my career for the next foreseeable future was in a company which was very relevant and by relevance I mean which is very attuned very congruent with what was happening in the economy at large right? so if you come to think of it 
One of the biggest changes in our lives over the last three years is the Uberization and the Amazonization of our lives. Right. Today's my my second daughter's tenth birthday, and I'm guilty as hell because I'm at the conference and she's at home, only forty miles away, but I'm not going to see her. Yeah. Uh, but I could send her really hot chocolate pancakes with syrup and bacon and strawberries, banana and whipped cream, delivered right before she went to school because I used Uber Eats to deliver it. Right. Yeah. That made the little girl's you know day. But the point here is, that is the service economy that we live in. Every product is going to be offered as a service. In fact, one of our prospects which sells air compressors is talking about air as a service. So they want to go to their clients and say, we will keep the temperature in your office between this and this for 365 days. And if we don't, this is a penalty. You don't care about how we do it, right? Yeah. Uh, or to a pub owner, that the beer would be served at this temperature and this pressure, you know, year round, and this is how much you pay. What we do with the equipment doesn't matter. So essentially, most C level executives at our customer and prospect sites are thinking about one thing, which is which is the seminal challenge of their times, which is how do we price configure and quote or configure price and quote our product as a service and how do we then manage our legal obligations of offering that product as a service now if that is the seminal challenge that every C level suite or C suite is facing there isn't a better company or technology to help them than what Aptos offers and that was the big reason that I decided to come in uh, to Aptus. Yes, Kirk was, and I, I know it was said in jest, but uh, <laughs> Kirk, Kirk was a big reason because his uh, you know innovative mind yeah, and stretching the um, you know uh, the envelope in terms of innovation constantly is very exciting. And I always wanted um, to be associated with the founder than with the professional you know CEO. So it ticked two of the main main uh, boxes for me uh, when I when I kind of joined and our our one of the learnings that I've had in my career when I've been lucky enough to be associated with companies that have scaled and become really big uh, uh, marquee software houses is a a concept that only simplicity scales complexity doesn't scale yeah and that's what you're seeing in our messages around Omni, right? It's a very simple message. The message around middle office. It is something which, you know, kind of uh, bridges the gap between the front and the back office. And we're trying to simplify most of the things here. So it's, it's counterintuitive, but scale is directly proportional to the simplicity of message, simplicity of process, sim simplicity of doing business with your clients, of implementing your software, of you know onboarding employees. So yeah, that's that's really what Scale is all about, and I'm very very excited about uh, doing that at Aptus. Now there are over a hundred speakers representing great Aptus customers here at the moment, such as Nike, Nokia, IBM, Cardinal Health, and that list goes on and on. That's got to make you feel incredibly proud, doesn't it? It does. It does. It it, it is. We are very honoured to have them. Uh, they're just tremendous um, customers and. Um, tremendous partners really uh, they push us to be our best we take on that challenge um, it makes them better and it makes us better and that's really a good meaningful relationship and uh, yeah very excited to have them with us now I have attended quite a few events over the last few months and things like hyper personalization how voice search will affect businesses and of course artificial intelligence seems to be dominating all conversations across all events on this side of the Atlantic and uh, on the other in the UK too and we are all living in a digital world where relationships we build are often equally as important if not more so than the transaction itself in business so although all eyes have been on Google and Microsoft this week 
I remember how Aptus unveiled Aptus Max last year at the uh, event to leverage applied AI and provide a conversational experience in real-time intelligence recommendations. And I remember thinking that Aptus seemed to be well ahead of the curve. So can you offer an overview for listeners that have never heard uh, of Aptus Max, what Aptus Max is, and also how it's been received over the last few months, and how do you see it evolving continuously over the next few years? Yeah, no, absolutely happy to do so. You know, as Kirk likes to put it, <clears throat> Max is not artificial intelligence, but it's applied intelligence. Yeah. Yeah, and, and it's not only a play on words, it is we leverage the, the AI platform of Watson, for example. We have close collaboration with Microsoft as well. We are using blockchain, etc., right, to, to make Max our intelligent agent yeah. right, even more effective to provide our customers not with a you know user interface but with the user experience where you can speak to a virtual intelligent agent in natural language english and you can essentially interact with with that agent as if you would do with another person mm. so you literally have a on demand agent which helps you figure out what you really need to do. And in addition to that, so as you you were seeing earlier on um, um, on the demo, that not only can Max go and retrieve information, figure out what's in the contract, what you had ordered previously, and be able to meet your demands, but it can also offer insights into not only your behavior, but into your needs and recommend products like it did this morning, the 12 month warranty thing, yeah. which makes your life a little you know, better, easier. Right? So that is the sort of depth that we are giving Max with every passing day. So, um, so you know, I, I thought um, I heard one of the speakers say that 92% of the consumers say that they will not interact or buy or transact with a company that they don't trust. Yeah. Right? And uh, I think Max is an agent which is built 100% on the data that is available in the system, right? Yeah. And it helps you interact with intelligent data, provide you intelligent insights and do it in the confines of the legal agreement surrounding your interaction. Yeah. So that that that's what makes it highly highly effective. So yeah, we are very excited about Max and uh, the future of Max. There's two words we've been using a lot during this, and that's experience and expectation. And I think it was said earlier uh, in the IBM segment. Uh, that once you have a particular experience, that becomes your your normal, your standard, doesn't it? So I've got to say, just before we sign off here, your daughter's 10 years old. Her expectation is pancakes from Uber Eats <laughs> delivered to the door within 30 minutes. How are you going to top that now? Well, actually, yes. Yeah, some poor chef's going to have a really hard time 15, 20 years from now. So, yes. <laughs> a huge thanks for taking the time to no, come no, to the No, no, thank you. Today. It's been my pleasure. Thank you. For me, I think the big takeaways from the Aptus Accelerate event is that Aptus is a hybrid cloud platform. And by working alongside Force.com, Azure, and soon IBM, they are truly cloud agnostic and can easily work with 90% of companies out there. I think it's a great position to be in. And it also seems to me that they're keen to highlight that they're no longer just an application provider, but a true platform that has its own developer kit, API, etc., And continued investment in artificial intelligence tells me that Aptus is all grown up. And I suspect that they are one of the best kept secrets out there. But remember where you heard about them first. If you were at the event or if you just got any questions, as always, as you know, my door is always open to each and every one of you. And you can email me at techblogwriter at outlook.com or tweet me at Neil C. Hughes. But right now, I've got a battle where I'm going to try and fiercely protect my clam chowder against an army of seagulls. Want to join me? Meet me by the pier in 10 minutes. As for everyone else, a huge thank you for tuning in. And until next time, don't be a stranger. 
Thanks for listening to the Tech Blog Writer Podcast. Until next time, remember, technology is best when it brings people together.